Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris. Today's project, we are going to do a really quick little turning. So I'm going to take some hickory and some copper tubing and I'm going to make what's a, called like a tire thumper. Um, you know, it's something you keep in your car or whatever, check the tires, but it's really kind of like a self-defense thing. Um, so maybe it's considered uh, something I shouldn't make for YouTube, but <laughs> it's gonna be cool looking uh, so it's just gonna be made for me made to put in my truck or maybe just to keep around here who knows um, but it should be a really cool little project so uh, let me take you through the whole process so let's get to it all right first we're gonna measure to 15 inches mark that and uh, we're gonna grab a jigsaw Actually, just kidding. We are going to grab a uh, miter saw. Make really quick work of this. Make sure it's really good and straight. So let me get my eyes and ears on. Let's do this. And I'm going to make this one and a quarter by one and a half. So actually, let me grab a tape and see how thick this is. Let's see. Uh, inches. So yeah, we'll cut one and a quarter this way. I'm going to have the tighter grain too. Like that. There we are. All right, let's be serious. All right, now that we got our blank made, we're gonna chuck this up. Why am I looking over here? Now that we have our blank made, we're gonna put this on the lathe and we're actually gonna turn a tenon that matches the inside diameter of a pipe, just like that. And I'm actually gonna cut this down in half so I can use this twice. So basically we're gonna have part of this pipe hooked to the end right there. So hopefully that makes sense. Don't think it's too complicated. So let's get it on the lathe and uh, we'll uh, start turning. Make sure we're tight. And we can be really good and tight on this because I'm going to make the tenon a little bit longer. So we'll be able to trim it off. So we'll lose that little nub. And then I'm going to probably hand shape the back here. So all this that's getting bit into shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, so all of these marks here. And I could even turn this to where I you know, cut that off. But I'm probably gonna just knock the edges off of this and then I'm gonna hand tool uh, most of it because I kind of like the uh, uh, flatter wide shape rather than perfectly round. So I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want, but this is my project, not yours. So real quick, we need to uh, get our digital calipers out. Um, and uh, we want to kind of measure, not kind of, we want to measure the uh, inside diameter. All right, so we got 1.325. And we want to test it on that. So actually we're really, really close. So I might have done that. A little closer than I wanted to, but that's okay. All 
Okay, slip it on there. So, let's bring this over to the bench and see if we can slam her on there. All right, so we uh, got this cut down a little bit so we'll be able to fine tune it on the lathe, at least the, uh, the rough edge. Now you can grab your other half It is warm out here. So that's looking pretty good. So we got it nice and tight against the shoulder, at least as tight as I need to be. There we go. <laughs> uh, got a little bit sticking out, so we got room to sand. But I'm actually going to put on the lathe and file that edge down. Um, so should be able to get it pretty smooth. And then I got a little idea for the center there too. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so now, uh, just to smooth out this edge here, we're gonna take a file to it. Um, so pretty easy. So as you can see, that's going to uh, knock out all the high spots, really smooth this out, smoother than this copper pipe ever planned on being. <laughs> All right, just a little bit more here. Here we go, that looks pretty smooth. Oh, yeah, just like that. Any kind of markings you would have had from uh, the factory, looks like they're pretty much gone. I might go a little bit more, I can kind of see it there. So, but yeah, pretty easy. So uh, we'll uh, kind of shine this up a little bit and then uh, knock off the edges and uh, then hand shape the rest of it. So from here the layout is pretty simple. So we'll just go, you know, a few inches, you know, maybe a couple inches from the top. <laughs> this doesn't have to be too precise or anything. This is more just guidelines. All right, and the rest can be done with your uh, finger. So we'll go with the uh, short sides here. So kind of hold it like that. Flip it over. Now I want it to go in a little bit further into here. Now just be careful not to get a splinter because <laughs> it could happen pretty easily. There we go. And so we'll take a spoke shave and we will kind of carve down tapering in from here to here and get, get into that line and get into that line. And that ought to give you a really good handle that tapers down and then we'll kind of round off the bottom here. Pretty simple. Now I know I got a lot of friends um, that use hand tools all the time and I am sure they're going to say that I'm doing this wrong and that's fine. I probably am. But what I'm going to do is follow the grain so I can see that the grain is going this way, up this way. So when I carve down, this should get a good smooth cut. Make sure you get these tools out of the way so you don't hit your knuckles on them. But I just kind of start towards the middle. A little chatter there so the grain changes directions. So I just kind of start in the middle and make sure you fade to that line, both lines. So I'm wanting to go from here and connect that line and then we'll go from there and connect that line. But of course we'll have to wait till we, wait till we flip it over to get down to that line. Looks like this one's gonna come up.
you see the grains kind of going this way. So we'll looking pretty good Ugh. so we're we're pretty much getting there so kind of got a good fat good handle there we'll kind of round off the bottom here and uh, address the uh, bottom there but I think I want the top to be a little bit more rounded so I might taper these up and get that a little bit closer because I think that looks kind of kind of ugly cool look so uh, really probably pretty easy to sand this and finish it off while it's on the leaf Definitely need to turn down this sand just a little bit. So uh, we'll uh, take that to the uh, disc sander, put a little radius on there, and uh, yeah, should be pretty much done. So right here I'm showing that I am cutting this uh, steel round bar stock, uh, but I ended up uh, going over to the grinder with the bar still intact and grinding a rounded end and then cutting it. But then I also cut a, a piece of uh, steel tube for this right here.
All right, it's the next morning. I let that epoxy cure up in the uh, little eyelet thing here. I can't think what's that, what that's called. Uh, and then the steel on the tip here. Focus on that so my face. So it turned out pretty good. Off camera, I uh, sanded this down nice and flat. Steel, yes, it's hard, but on a disc sander, it, it sands it just fine. No issue. So I got just a little bit of finish sanding left to do on this thing, and then we'll put some finish on it, and then this dude is ready. So feels really good, looks kind of cool. I mean, it's not supposed to not supposed to look like anything, I guess. It can look like whatever you want. So I just wanted to kind of have some you know, kind of cool shape here to the handle and taper down here. So, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Let's get some finish. So for finish, and I'm sorry that they're just regular paper towels, not blue ones. Um, Sessions really hit me hard. <laughs> no, I just haven't been to uh, uh, buy any lately. So I'm just used to all paper towels from the kitchen. So I uh, chose just uh, wood wax. I'm not going to put a finish, you know, any kind of oil or anything on it. We're just going to put some uh, wax on top of it. Just give it a nice smooth feel. Um, it doesn't need any color or anything like that. If you really want to get nuts with it, you'd spray a couple coats of lacquer knock it back with some steel wool, put some wax on it, and it would be like super buttery smooth and last forever. But honestly, I kind of like that it'll, uh, it'll wear in a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's just you know, just my choice. Or maybe I'm lazy. Very likely I'm just lazy. There you go, just kind of warms it up a little bit. Nothing, nothing crazy. All right, we'll let that sit for a little bit and then come back and buff it off. And this thing uh, should be done. All right, so that's the video. Got this all finished up, looks really good. Uh, feels good. I think it's going to be really useful, you know, whether I'm thumping tires or smacking knuckles. Um, just a really cool, fun little project, something fun to knock out and, you know, an evening plus some with the epoxy drying. So this easily could be done in a day, but you can get really creative with it. Use different woods. It doesn't have to be boring old hickory. I just like that because it's strong, but, um, you know, some scrap wood and, uh, I don't know, a couple dollar little fitting from uh, your big box store. You don't have to do the metal on the end, but you know, I kind of like that little touch. Um, but yeah, pretty cool little project. So anyway, thanks for watching, especially all of you that made it all the way to the end. Uh, but be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, comment below what wood you would use instead of hickory. I'd love to hear it. Anyway, see you on the next one guys. Bye.